Hello again, friends. Well, isn't that special? That has never happened to me before. What is going on, man? I don't know what's happening. I've got the gremlins in my Facebook tonight. Are you guys there? Hey, April. Hello. Thanks for hanging in there. I don't know what that is. All of a sudden, it just a box popped up on my video, on my stream, and said, you're gone. You're dumped out. Thank you for welcoming me back. Thanks for coming back and joining me. I apologize, you guys. I don't know what Facebook is doing. I don't know what's happened. It dumped me out on my iPad first, and then it dumped me out on my phone where I'm recording from. So I have no idea. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get through this. If not, I'll do the project and I'll post a picture. <laughs> but hopefully that was it. That was all of the uh, shenanigans that are going to go on. It's not April Fool's Day. I don't know what the heck in that is going on. All right. So I don't know where I was, what I was saying, but we're going to do a fun project tonight, okay? So, like I said, I used this kind of surface before. These were a couple that I had grabbed from, if you're wondering what in the world I'm talking about or what's going on, you'll have to go back and watch the other video, which was only a couple minutes long. So, uh, But I had grabbed these on clearance at one of my favorite little um, discount stores to visit, Big Lots. I don't know if you have one of those where you live. But when I saw these, I don't know why, I have something about parentheses, I just love them. And it was actually a black, um, and the other one I did, I, I've done in like black chalkboard when I've painted it, but it was actually a black, and it had a saying on there, I don't remember what it was. It wasn't anything I cared about. I knew I was gonna upcycle it the minute I saw it. I don't know if you guys do that when you go out shopping, but I'm always looking for, hmm, what do I like, what can I do with that? <laughs> So this one is the one we're going to use tonight. And like I said, it's originally meant to go like this so you can hang it. But guess what? I don't see why we can't do this. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I went ahead and painted it ahead of time. I actually had to do three coats. Um, but I didn't want you guys to get stuck. Hey, Teresa, I didn't want you guys to get stuck having to watch me paint. I know how long it takes me sometimes, and I didn't want that to happen. So I have done, um, I did two layers of paint. Um... And I let it sit and dry while I was finishing fixing dinner and I had to cut my grandson's hair, give him a bath and all that stuff. So um, I came back up. I've given it another quick coat. I hope you had a good day, Teresa. So now I'm just going to real quick make sure it's dry because, you know, sometimes I speed things up, you guys. And um, when I do, I pay for it. So we're not going to do that. So I am going to make sure this last coat is dry. Then we're gonna lightly sand it and add some wax and then we're gonna chalk and it's gonna be bam, bam, done. Now, I am gonna use our gorgeous color of the month, Duchess. Oh my goodness, Teresa. You're not the only person. Right now, I feel like I know several people whose either parents or husbands are in the hospital, like severe, like severe stuff. I am so sorry to hear that, hon. I will be praying for him, too. I don't know what's going on, y'all, with the sicknesses, but it's just a rough time right now. Um, one is cancer that I know. I mean, it's just, you know, it's always something. But, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on this time of year. You'd think we'd be coming out of the uh, main illness season, that, you know, seasons are starting to change, and that things would be improving, but I'm so sorry to hear that. And, you know, I know that once, you know, especially if they're elderly, I don't know how old he is. He may be my age, for all I know. Um, you know, once you've had it, it just seems like um, if you've had the, you know what, the virus, that it just weakens your system for future attacks. I know my daughter who is only, I mean, you know, she was 23 in August, and she got it the first year. Uh, got it pretty bad the first year. That was the worst time of my life because she was up in her beloved mountains uh, at school and I couldn't be there and we were scared to death. That was when we didn't know as much and we were scared to death. And um, he's 70. Yeah, that's, that's hard. And we actually lost both of my in-laws to COVID. Um, and I lost a brother-in-law to COVID. Um, Ex-brother-in-law, but still. Um, so... You know, it's scary. It was scary. And I feel like she's still, her immune system is still compromised. And that was back in 2020 when she got it. Um, she, she's had it several times since then. Um, and, you know, it's just scary. 
you're in mess. Just when we think we've got it fixed, right, and beat. But I think it does affect, especially if you're older, you know, your immune system gets weakened, and it, it's just, then you're susceptible to lots of other stuff. And, and what they're saying that step, strep is not done, uh, even though we're coming to the end of the winter time, they said strep's not done, and it's been the worst it's been a lot of times, so I'm so sorry. All right, so I feel like that's pretty dry. Yeah, I did use just my um, fusion paint. It's just like a chalk paint. Um, so it usually dries pretty quickly. But now I do have some like little pieces of dried paint on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just taking a piece of paper. This is like a piece of paper out of a notebook. You could use a piece of copy paper or something like that. I don't know if I would use like lined paper that you would use for school just because, or even bullet paper because you know it has the ink on it and I don't know if that would rub off. But the main reason I'm using this is because my sanding blocks are not brand new and I don't wanna put any gray on there or black or whatever might be already on it. So I'm just gonna use this and I'm just gonna kinda of sand down um, my surface. So you can just do that and it just gets rid of any little rough areas um, or big, you know, loose pieces of chalk this isn't chalk, I'm sorry, it's loose pieces of paint that might have gotten on there because, you know, that happens sometimes. Now, I do still have, um, and that's all it takes, guys. Uh, I do still have, like, um, it's not brush lines because I didn't use a brush brush. I used a foam brush, um, but I still have lines on there. And I probably could have even done a third coat, but, I, I mean, fourth coat, but I felt like this was going to be fine. Once I get the design on there, I don't think you'll pay attention to the fact that you might, if you look hard enough, see a little tiny bit hint of another color behind there. So, uh, now, of course, because I painted this, and this is my brand new transfer I don't want to ruin, I am going to put a layer of wax on it. So, this is my surface wax. It's in my shop. Of course, you can uh, get surface wax from other areas, but... I love ours. It lasts a long time and it's very economical. So um, the wax is not only going to kind of seal in the paint and protect my transfer from that so that it doesn't pick up any into the sticky part because, you know, our transfers are self-adhesive um, and they're reusable. So I want to keep it in as good a condition as possible. And um, but it also will help kind of fill in some of those grooves or ridges that are in here from my paint. Um, if you guys know of a way to paint a surface that you don't get ever, like grooves or lines, because I didn't do a brush because I didn't want brush stroke lines, so I used a foam brush and I still got them, and then I used something else and I still got them. So if you guys know the secret to that, then let me know, because I would love to hear it. I even went both ways, you know, to try to minimize that. But anyway, that layer of wax is going to help fill in those little bits of, um, you know, places where it's like kind of grooved. Um, you know, just so, just so you know. And I want a nice smooth surface. So I want it as smooth, smooth as it can be, um, just so I don't get bleeds, because we want our, our, our transfer to stick to it as well as possible. So um, I am actually going to take my dryer one more time. Since I didn't bore you guys with painting, I, I'm going to go ahead and do um, this step at least. And I am going to make sure that I just warm up my... Uh, wax that I just put on there and then I'm going to buff it out. Just kind of make sure I get a nice smooth coat. So this is just an old microfiber cloth. I got it in Dollar Tree or something and I, I've used it for waxing before I ever got my little applicator. My applicator needs to be washed. I did, you guys. Woohoo for me. I did um, wash all of my fuzzing cloths and my drying mats today. So, woohoo! <laughs> I've been needing to do that. So I did do that today, but I did not wash. I don't throw my applicators. I hate to call it a sponge because it's not really a sponge, but my applicator, wax applicator into the washer because, um, you know, it's, it's got wax on it. So I really need to hand wash it. But what I'm going to do is just buff and make sure that now my wax is nice and smooth. Out. And we should be good to go. It's going to only take a minute. So like I said, this is meant to hang this way. I'm not going to use it that way. I'll probably just take that off. Um, and I don't I don't think I'm going to hang it at all, to be honest with you guys. Um, I do hang some, you know, things in my home, but this 
kind of stuff a lot of times I will not. So I don't have any particular place that I can think of that I want to hang it. But if I do, then I will figure out a way to make it so that I can, I'll either hot glue this on here um, or something else on here. Um, or I'll staple it on or I'll go to the trouble of moving these, but I'm not sure it's worth it. Um, anyway, but so now we're all set to go. And I did go ahead and paint the inside of this. Um, it's a little rough looking, but I think I'm going to leave it that way. If I don't like it, I can always go back with like maybe, um, I, I use my old fingernail files a lot of times on the edges that are harder to get to. Um, now because it's brand new, I've already marked on the front and the back. You do want to do that because you can put your transfer. Like I said, it's sticky. It's self-adhesive. It's meant to be sticky and reusable, but you can accidentally put it on the wrong side. And if you put it on this side, you're going to pull up this paper with your transfer and it's going to be ruined. So you want to always put it on the glossy side. So write, put a mark or write the word or write back or something on the back of your transfer, just so you know, um, which side is the back when you go to put it back on here? Because that's what you store it on after you've washed it and dried it. Okay. And I always mark the front of my transfers just because um, when they're drying, I don't, as, this one has words, so I should be able to tell it. But if it was just an image, I can't always tell what's the front and what's the back. All right. Now I am doing something we call fuzzing. This is my fuzzing cloth that I just washed. Now when I wash it, I only wash it in, in detergent. Um, I don't use fabric softener. I don't use a dryer sheet, anything like that, because I don't want any extra residue. I don't do that anyway on any of my towels because it's supposed to make them more absorbent if you don't use fabric softener. But I definitely don't want to do it on these because I don't want it to pick up any kind of, um, you know, uh, residue. That's a word. All I could think of was debris. I'm like, that's not the right word, Susan. I, I need to get to a decent night's sleep. I need more than five and a half hours of sleep, y'all. Okay, so, or was it five? I don't know. Um, not enough, that's that's how much it was. Okay, so I am fuzzing it several times because these transfers are super sticky. I love that, I love that about them, but I don't want it to um, try to stretch when I go to pull it off. So we had another glorious day here, you guys, in North Carolina. I hope you had good weather where you are. It was beautiful here again. It actually got pretty warm. It was, um, I think it got up to 84. Tomorrow's supposed to be 86. Yeah. So it was, it was beautiful again. I did not spend time outside. I did, I have been trying to, when I'm having my lunch. Okay. Another, another pause, pause conversation. Okay. If you're trying to find the middle of your transfer, look at this is grabbing each other. Pull it off gently. Um, the middle of your middle of your transfer because you have words or something like that or an image and you're just trying to find out where is the middle I don't measure I'm an eyeballer and most time I do pretty good I think but if I really wanted to get it um, more um, evenly lined up you can fold your transfer in half like if you if the image doesn't go all the way to the side then find where you know where it does meet where the ends of each side meet and then just kind of fold it a little bit. And when you go to wash it, it'll go back straight. But it gives you a little guide for figuring out where the middle is, especially if you have a word or phrase or something and you need help. So that's what I just did. Um, and now I can use that to help me because I've got my little, I've got little cheats. I've got my little um, brackets. So I'm going to put it in the middle of the brackets. And you know that even though I washed this and dried it, you guys, I still see, like, there's fuzz, like, and I don't even know what that is, because I don't even have, that's just crazy. I didn't have anything else in there with it, but the, those things together, because I didn't want it to pick up fuzz from anything else. So I'm just doing my best to try to line it up straight and make sure I have it positioned on my board. Pretty, pretty good as well. So I'm looking at, so as you can see on this one, you know, I have more hanging down here than I do up here, but I'm look, trying to look at like the distance between my silk screen and the end of the transfer or where it's gonna hit on my surface. So um, I feel like that's pretty good because it swirls kind of go down a little bit. So I think we're pretty good there. I think we're pretty good there. And if it's not 100%, you guys, this is supposed to be handmade. It's 
supposed to be one of a kind. It's not supposed to look like it came off an assembly line. So don't stress. Don't fret. Don't sweat it. Okay, once I have it positioned where I want it, I am going to smooth it out, paying special attention to my silk screen areas. And this particular part of my silk screen right here, I see a big piece of something, so I'm just checking it. It's actually on my board and not um, on my transfer because I don't want anything to mess with my design. So if you see that on there, just pull it off. I think the problem is it's on my board, not on my, I was thinking it was a transfer, but it's actually on here. But you, you know, little ones aren't gonna make a big difference. But if you see any big pieces like, if, like your hair or your dog's hair or your kid's hair or whatever, you might wanna pull that off, pull it back up, pull it off so that you, it doesn't mess with your design. And then once I have it, and I also want to make sure like right here is a big hunk of something right at the edge of my design. And I definitely don't want that because that's going to give me a bleed. So, because it's going to create that, it's going to mess with my seal. And I don't know, it's nine o'clock. There's a good chance my little buddy will be coming in here to say goodnight. So, I, I with our little delay. All right, so I have it all set up, ready to go. Now, this is brand new, so I'm gonna have to open it up. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. You guys get to sneak peek him. He's got a Scooby-Doo jammies on. Oh, maybe he's not gonna come in. I hear him. Hang on a second, I'm gonna shut this other door. So it doesn't disturb him. Oh, I guess he's not going to make a full period. She's he comes in. Okay, so this is how they come seal when you get them brand new. Because they want to make sure it's protected when it's in shipping. And I'm going to make a mess. It's going to be a little messy because i got to open it and it's going to be on the edges. But that's okay. It's just chalk paste, you guys. So this color, you guys know I love my shimmers anyway. So this is going to be gorgeous but this color has so much purple undertones i love it so some people are saying it's kind of like a light periwinkle shimmer um i feel like it's a cinderella i mean it's definitely putting off a lot more purple vibes in person than it does um on the picture i'll tell you that i am seeing a lot more purple than blue but it is gorgeous I would buy a car in this color, y'all. I want to say it's almost like a Carolina blue with a shimmer, but I'm not sure it's it's still a little more purple than that. Now, I don't like to waste any, so I'm taking it off the lid, and I'm using one of my little baby spatulas because they're adorable, and they're so useful. These come in a pack, and there's a bunch of them, and I use them for so much, but I'm going to use it to stir up my... You want to stir it. I'll show you why. I'll try to show you guys. I know it's kind of hard to see um, unless you see it in person. Oh, look how pretty. Can you see the color? Can you tell how beautiful that color is? Oh my gosh. I might have to get my nails done in that whenever I get my nails done again. I'm trying to do them at home myself again because they're just not growing. And, uh, But that's a pretty color. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to show you. When you get it, it's going to look a little bit like that. Do you see how it kind of looks like it's separated almost, the, some of the pigment? So that's why you want to stir it. If you don't have one of these cute, adorable little spatulas, you should. But if you don't, get something else. But make sure you don't use wood, like a wood stir. Use something metal, and you can just stir it up. And it should look at that creamy, dreamy formula, you guys. It is. Um, should feel like either frosting, like that whipped frosting, really, um, or um, yogurt. It's kind of like that. Oh my gosh, it's so yummy. Look at that. That is so gorgeous, you guys. Hey, Teresa, I know you got a couple jars of this. Did you get to create anything with it yet? Let me know. I'd love to know what you created. Okay, we are going to do all of this in one color, so I'm just going to get one of my small squeegees because it covers a lot more surface so that's a small one i don't know what that was looks like fuzz 
and I usually do wipe my, even though I've washed it and dried it, sometimes they get fuzz on them, so I don't like that. I have fuzz floating around here right now. Okay, so I am just gonna take my squeegee. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, here we go. I'm gonna press down here. it up so you guys can see and I love these new transfers that they 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 don't waste your chalk paste like it just glides on here so you're not leaving a lot of chalk paste behind and you're just covering up your silk screen area it's so easy to see whether or not you've got it covered and then you'll notice I go back over it and I'm pulling off any extra because it really only takes a little bit and a thin layer and a little bit goes a long way you guys Look at that, look how much I got, just with that one little. Oh, I guess he's not gonna make an appearance tonight, y'all. Right now, he is completely, um, he is completely immersed. I wanna say, not immersed, he's trying to be immersed. He is completely I hate that word when people say, oh, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I hate that word. Um, he is completely, like, focused on things to do with the ocean. He's asking questions about whirlpools and flooding, and he wants to understand about tornadoes and the Mariana Trench. Is that, did I say that right? And different critters that live down, I mean, under the ocean deep and stuff. Look at that, guys. It's done. We're done. We are done. If Facebook hadn't dumped me out, would have been already finished the whole video. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that's going to be. You ready? My favorite part. But anyway, he wants to watch videos, and he's asking questions, and he's just getting all kinds of information. He is just my little researcher. He loves to get... I do hope something good happens to you today. I truly do. Look how beautiful and simple that is. You can do this on any surface. You could even put this on, if you have a front glass door that is got a place that you can chalk it or a front glass window or even a storm door, you could chalk this right on your door and everybody that comes, I mean, who wouldn't like to see that? I really do hope something good happens to you today. That is gorgeous. I love it. So now we tell you, take your transfer to your sink, wash it with cold water, cool water, and um, a board eraser. I always wet mine until I can get it to the sink after I'm done my lives, but, and you're done. I mean, you're basically done at this point, right? So I said, I don't know if I'll hang it. I may, I may hang it. I haven't decided what it's, what's gonna happen. I might even just put it on my coffee bar for right now, just for right now, um, because that's something I show almost every morning on my stories. And you know, if I can spread a little bit of cheer, then hey, cool. You know what I wish I had? I wish I had one of these kind of things in a wood color, because all the ones I have are black. And I think I have one clear one, but it's like plastic, rinky-dink plastic. Do you know? Do you guys know if they make them? You know what I do have? Hold up a second. I'm gonna put it here while it's drying. This is gonna dry in about seven or eight minutes. The shimmer takes a little tiny bit longer than the regular chalk paste. So it's gonna be about seven or eight minutes. But let me show you something. I, because I was like, I need a wood one that's kind of like this. I think it would look better. But let me just show you what I thought of. Have you guys seen these at your Dollar Tree? I've had it for a while. Now I would need to stain it, but I can stain it with, with chalk paint or chalk paste and a baby wipe. But look at this cute little easel. It would look adorable on that, wouldn't it? And I could just make it that color. Have you seen those? And then just have that sitting wherever you wanted to have it sit. Oh, you guys, I definitely am gonna have to do that. I am gonna do that. I've been looking at it and thinking, oh, what am I going to use that for? But that's exactly what I need it for. And I could make it about this color. I could make it any color I wanted, really. But uh, um, you could paint it, or you can just take a baby white. I've had this for a while, but 
but I'm pretty sure I still see them every time I go. That stuff's heavy duty. But you can just make it, stain it. You use a baby wipe and chalk paint or our chalk paste as paint. This is a wood tabletop easel. And then you can put it right on it. Now I don't know if it's gonna take away from my little parenthesis. But see, then you could have it right on a piece of wood and it would look, and you could do it white. You could do this white or you could do it in the brown. Or you could just put it on one like this. Or you can attach either with glue, hot glue, or with um, a staple gun, uh, some kind of uh, ribbon, or maybe you have a really pretty ribbon. I'm sure I have something that's pretty like this. So this is in comparison to this. I'm gonna show you. Last year we came out with our very Perry, our shimmer very Perry, right? And I did a lots of love project in that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And I happen to have one piece of ribbon that was about that color. I couldn't believe it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this is the new color. This is Duchess. So kind of see it side by side. You can see it's a little bit lighter, but it still has that same kind of feel those purple undertones. So I love purple. Purple is such a great color. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do something with this. Um, maybe I'll show that tomorrow or something. Uh, Cause I don't want you guys to have to be on here too late. So now I was thinking, you know, we need a little something, right? We need a little something. So I, Dragonfly is kind of my, um, isn't that color beautiful? Did you get yours yet, April? Um, Dragonfly is my symbol for my, um, my business page and, and kind of like my, my thing. Um, so I do have these sweet little stickers because, you know, I feel like it needs a little something. I have these, so I could pull one of these little dragonflies. Oh, that one would be pretty. Either the little one or the big one. Okay, then. Let's not do that. Or I have these, you know, this is from my scrapbooking days, y'all. Um, I have these little wood chip cut out. We used to call them, what do we call them? Hmm, shapes, I don't know. But they were little chip, chipboard, chipboard stuff. Oh, see, that's way too purple. But I was thinking, oh, you know, I could just glue something up on the corner. I don't know, I, I'm feeling the dragonfly. I think I'm doing the dragonfly. This came from the Dollar Tree. I've had them for a while. I just had to get them. Oh my gosh, they didn't quit. Okay, let's see which one. I think, I think it's gonna be this one. And you can always add some hot glue on it too. But let's see, let me look at it and see. I feel like it needs, I mean, it would definitely be nice on the bottom too. Or the top, or one on each corner. What do you guys think? Yeah, I know. I hadn't either. I mean, it needs the right project, right? Do you think I should put this on the top or on the bottom? Or one on the top and one on the bottom? They're similar, they're not exactly the same. What do you think? What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? See, and then we got some more of the purple and the white and the shimmer. Oh my gosh, perfect. And you could add some hot glue on this if you needed to. I don't think it's gonna need it, but if it does, I could add a little bit of super glue or not super glue, craft glue or um, hot glue. What do you think, April? Down here or up here? And then I've got another little one that would work too. I really have two of them that will work. What do you think? Right here or up here? Yeah, maybe both. Do you think the big one should go at the bottom or at the top? I don't know. I'm afraid the big one might get lost if I... I mean, the little one might get lost if I put it at the bottom. You know, guys, just do it. 
just do whatever you want, what your heart tells you. Just do whatever your heart tells you. Whatever brings you joy. Oh my gosh, I love these. These are so cool for a dollar. Right? Yes! Yay! Thank you, April. <laughs> Girl, it's so much fun. More fun to craft with friends, isn't it? You just get caught up on the little things sometimes. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Get your little wings out, honey. Get you so you're showing better. The wings on this one aren't sitting up as high. And I love that the background is picking up all the colors going on. And there we go, guys. That's the project for tonight. Hooray. Hooray. All right. I love it. I love it. You're probably going to see it in the background. I don't know. Or I might put it on the cover. Or we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for coming back and joining me, April. And you guys, thanks for letting me come into your world for just a little while and share my love of creating with you. It always brings me so much joy. Um, I hope it brings you guys joy too. Be sure to check out Watts of Love. And if you have questions about anything I did or used tonight, feel free to ask me in comments or send me a message. That's what I'm here for. But I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great rest of your Wednesday night, a good start to your Thursday. And until I see you next time, be safe, be healthy, and be blessed. All right, guys. Bye. Bye, April.